Okay, so I've just received this package from the Channel Fudge. I totally wasn't expecting this. Um, the reason why I've already opened it is because I wasn't expecting it to be a puzzle. Um, I just saw the box and I thought, I wonder if this is from. It's obviously from someone within the UK. And I've not ordered any puzzles recently from anyone within the UK. Um, so because I wasn't really expecting it to be a puzzle, um, I just opened it up off camera. And then when I looked inside, I noticed there was a puzzle inside and I thought, okay, um, I'll stop here and I'll uh, make a video. So I've not actually pulled the puzzle out yet. I've not had a proper look at it yet. So I was totally not expecting this at all. Um, it's given me a note. It says, Dear Mr. RPK Vids, I saw this in a charity shop and thought you would like it because you like retro puzzles. I know it's not a twist slide puzzle, but... Um, put it on well. Um, I know it's not a twist slide puzzle. Oh, I know it's not a slide twist puzzle, but oh well. I think. Keep all the great videos from Tom. Channel Fudge. Well, thanks Tom. Um, it's really nice of you to send me this. It's, it looks like it could be a put together puzzle. It's obviously in the shape of an egg. And I think, I think quite a while back when I was looking for vintage puzzles on eBay, um, I'm sure I saw one of these. I remember seeing an egg type puzzle anyway that was from the 70s. And this looks like it could be from the 70s. Scrambled egg, a 3D jigsaw puzzle. Can you put it together? So yeah, the, the package in it, it does look very retro. It does look as though it's from the 70s. Mag... what does that say? Magnif... Magnif makes it. I've heard of Magnif before. This handsome three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle is truly a decorator piece. But best of all, very difficult. A challenge to your depth perception. Scramble the 32 interlocking parts and reassemble. The last part snaps into place, locking this beautiful crystal egg into its original form. Well, that, that does actually sound like it's um, a take apart and put together puzzle. Because of the, the locking thing. IQ rating, 5 minutes egg beater, 10 minutes sunny side up, 30 minutes soft boiled, 1 hour old hen. Can't do it, you laid an egg. Printed in US, USA, 1982. Oh well, I guess I was kind of close. You know, I, I, how I was thinking that it's from the 70s, 1982, it's kind of close to the 70s, isn't it? Um, I wonder if this has ever been opened before. That is so interesting how part of the packaging is actual, like, hard plastic. I want to take this, I want to be careful with taking this apart because I don't want to rip it. I do really like egg-shaped egg puzzles for some reason. You can see this, well you might not be able to see on camera, but um, in real life you can see it's got like a kind of a yellow tinge to it, so um, it shows you that it's it's obviously very old plastic now. Here is the egg itself. That is really, really cool looking. It's got quite a bit of weight to it as well. These kind of look like screws in the middle, but I can't see them being screws. Let's see if I can actually take this apart. I 
I don't really have much experience with the uh, take apart and put together puzzles yet. I've got quite a few of them, but I've not really spent that much time with them yet. Ah, okay. So, does this itself come apart? It looks as though it does. Yeah. So that's that's all one piece. Kind of looks as though it could be made up of separate pieces, but it's all one piece. And so is that. And this is this is like a pin in the middle. Interesting. So I think this is probably going to be easy to take apart, but um, difficult to put back together. But this is, you know, considering its age from 1982, it's in really, really nice condition. It, you know, it still looks like brand new. Um, Luckily, even though like this plastic packaging is yellowed, you know, because it's so old now, luckily that the puzzle itself hasn't yellowed at all. So, I am actually going to send you something, Tom. Um, I was feeling quite bad about not sending you anything, you know, after you sent me that Rubik's key ring. But to be honest, I really couldn't think of anything to send you. And then I just kind of forgot about it. But um, I was thinking about it um, before I actually thought of something that I could send you. So um, I will definitely send you something. There you go, that's the, <clears throat> that's the whole puzzle disassembled. Just mix the pieces up a bit. So there you have a uh, scrambled egg. So, um, yeah, I'd just like to say thanks again uh, to Tom for sending me this. Um, like I, like I said, I totally wasn't expecting this at all. Um, so it's you know it's a really nice gift. Um, I'm sure I'll have a lot of fun with this. And um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.